Hello, my great good people. I greet you from the Biodiversity Preservation Center, Nigeria. In our conservation education video of today, we bring you the 10 most dangerous snakes of the world in order of their venom capacity and power. And here you will also understand that snakes, as much as possible, remain very conspicuous and important members of our ecosystem. Snakes help us to control pest organisms by swallowing them. Of course, everybody understands or should understand that snakes are mostly carnivorous, whether they are venomous snakes or they are non-venomous. All of them kill and eat living animals that are smaller than them. Of course, snakes also eat other snakes. So all over the world, we have 3,600 different species and the number of families are just 20 different families. Of the 3,600 species of snakes to be found in the world, they all fall under 20 different families. And I want to correct one impression, the impression that people would refer to snakes as being poisonous. This is wrong. It's wrong to describe snakes as being poisonous. An organism or material is poisonous when somebody eats that or ingests such material or eats an animal or plant that is capable of producing toxins when you eat or consume. Whereas the snakes are venomous, which science describes as any animal that is capable of biting or stinging and then at the end introduces venom. So it is appropriate to describe snakes as venomous and for the majority of snakes which have no venom at all, you describe them as non-venomous. Top on our list today is the Russell Viper. It comes loaded with hemotoxins. A second snake there is the famous black mamba with its combo of neurotoxins. Third on the list is the saw scale viper. It has hemotoxin. It is a relative of the carpet viper that you find in the northern part of Nigeria and some part of the middle belt. Of course, urbanization and globalization has brought this species even up to southern Nigeria where they become a little bit invasive of places like Akwaibom, Abia, and Rivers. Also on the list, number four, is the Eastern Brown Snake. It has chemotoxins, but the good news is that the Eastern Brown Snake is not in Nigeria. The next species, number five, is the Indian Crate. The crate has a neurotoxin very potent. The number six is the Indian Cobra. This snake is particularly of interest because of the least, it is the only individual that comes with a combo, a cocktail of venom that is both neurotoxic, hemotoxic, and even cardiotoxic, meaning that it will affect the neural systems as your nervous system will be affected. It can also destroy the flesh and as well can destroy the organs such as the heart. Number seven is a puff adder which has a cytotoxic venom and it's important to mention here that the puff adder is the one uh, African member of this list. As is to say aside from the black member which are the, is at the top in number two the puff adder is the next African species uh, that is after the saw scale viper. It is the next number three, if we were listing it for Africa or for Nigeria. 
Furthermore, we want to talk about the common lance head, which is loaded with hemotoxic venom and very aggressive. We also have as number nine, the coastal taipan, which has a neurotoxic venom, but because of its peculiar attitude and behavior, this snake can chase the victim, can run after you, and can be particularly uh, fast compared to its size and the fact that it has no legs. <laughs> All right, so it is particularly dangerous because of its attitude of repeated biting. So it doesn't strike only once, it keeps striking if it has a chance. So we must avoid the coastal taipan as much as possible. Last but not the least is the dead adder. Dead adder. Well, uh, history has it that this snake, because of its calm attitude, it will lie still because it's always uh, hunting for prey without having to run. The Yoruba people call it Oka <laughs> because it is a member of the Ada family, like the Gaboon Viper. So, uh, because it lies in a particular spot and the prey comes by and it strikes. Very fast striker. And this is why the Yorubas in Nigeria always describe it as, uh, with a parlance that says, the food that Oka will eat will actually walk to Oka. Oka doesn't need to suffer to search for food. The food will come to it. And that's a proverb actually describe the behavior of this particular snake. When it bites with its neurotoxin, the neurotoxin is particularly uh, potent as it is capable of causing paralysis of the respiratory systems and death if not treated. Please don't get confused. Don't be scared. This whole description of venom potency will easily be treated once the victim is taken to an appropriate health facility and then there are anti-venoms to treat them so you need to know these snakes take a look at the pictures and get familiar with it if you like this video if you've learned something good please like our video share it and also subscribe to our channel as we bring you more and more educational videos that will bring you into harmony with nature a better understanding a better appreciation of these species will help us to live safely in our environment thank you for subscribing